What is going on guys and welcome back to another FIFA 18 Ultimate Team Squad Builder It does seem like you guys are enjoying this However it does seem like you guys do want me to start playing with the teams I am making So if you guys want me to do a little road to glory, a little series where we start off with a cheap team like 20k I showcase that squad builder, the most OP players that um that add up to 20k you guys want me to go through divisions with that team and then the more we more, the more coins we earn we make different overpowered teams different squad builders and i showcase the squad builder so it's basically like um the normal squad builders the normal squad builder videos i am currently making but instead we are going to play a, a, um, a game with that team and we're going to take it through some divisions through squad battles through, through foot champs if you guys really want to so yeah i'll go into detail with that um series if you guys do hit uh let's say let's let's hit around 30 likes i'm gonna say 30 likes guys a whooping 30 like if we can hit like 30 likes then i will start that uh, uh, road to glory where we do that because a lot of guys you a lot of you guys are commenting that you you want me to uh play the team so if you guys want to see that then obviously come here 30 likes and also com comment down below to let me know that you guys want me to play a game with the teams that i'm making to showcase you guys how overpowered they are if you guys want me to start um, doing that then obviously like I said 30 likes and a lot of comments down below telling me you guys want me to do that So yeah, that's just a quick notice, but without further ado guys, let's get straight into the video Okay, so guys as you can see we are using one of the best most overpowered formations in the game Guys, I'm telling you this formation the left forward right formation is probably along with the uh, 4 and 2 on 2 9 formation the best formation you can use in FIFA 18 right now currently in our ultimate team so yeah without further ado let's go into the first player the most overpowered french hybrid guys i'm telling you it's a full french team but it contains many different leagues uh so yeah without further ado let's get into the first player now first player at striker position we do have the man himself boom jacka lacazette the machete as reeve likes to call him but yeah alexandra lacazette we do have in the team going striker and i have used this guy before but currently he's not in my team i have used this guy before and he is really good he is one of the most complete strikers the most versatile strikers you can use in fifa 18 with astonishing pace actually in-game pace is yeah as you can see 87 pace and then his finishing 87 finishing is just absolutely insane along with his physical he's got 79 strength 76 jumping and 80 stamina and then also on top of that he does have amazing dribbling so he is one of the most complete bpo strikers you can actually get in the game right now but like i mentioned at the start of the video if you guys want me to be trying out these kind of teams we start a fresh account with like 20k and then the more money we make the better squads we make and i showcase the squads and i play a game but yeah obviously like i mentioned at the start of the at the start of the video but yeah on the left forward position we do have anthony martial who anthony martial he always does anthony martial type things this guy is such a beast anthony martial any foot champs side you come up against any foot champs team you come up against division one um even squad battle sometimes anthony martial you see that face everywhere because as everyone knows this guy is so amazing such a beast one of the best left forwards in the game that you will ever see in fifa since fifa 17 this guy's been one of the best of the best i'm telling you and uh in uh, the right forward position we've had like a player who's just been noticed recently in fifa 18 ultimate team a player that is starting start slowly starting to get used more often we have the man alison duini alison Drini plays for LA, la galaxy in the mls in the MLS, he's so amazing. I've used him before, so overpowered. He was like a hidden gem at the start of FIFA. And in fact, when uh, before he had an inform, very, very at the start of the game, I bought a fetch team and I bought his non rare card. And his non rare card was absolutely amazing, surprisingly. I was so surprised. And then a few weeks later, bang, he gets this inform card here. As you can see, his 82 rated inform, Alessandrini. Again, he's so, so amazing, so, so overpowered. But I think he doesn't get as used as much as he does just because of the league that he's in so he's hard to link up but luckily he is such um he is in such a good uh nation which is france so obviously it is amazing due to the fact that he comes from france but his league is absolutely trash in terms of players in our fifa 18 ultimate team right now but as you can see the anchor in the team that stud in our team in the cent center mid position we have timo bakioko the 82 rated chelsea man 
himself again this guy is such a tank just like anthony martial you will see him everywhere in any team you play just everywhere along in the fifa community i bet you the pro players will tell you anthony martial back your call one of the best players cheap players that you'll see in the game i'm telling you guys i am not lying and then on to that left center mid position we do have Blaze Matweedy. Now, Matweedy, I've got him in my team right now. And this guy is, again, another one of the anchors we'll have in this team. Again, oh, uh, an absolute beast. As if shooting was better, I'm telling you, this guy would probably be worth, like, 100k. Because he would have, like, identical stats to uh, nine Golan if his shooting was just a bit better. Because this guy, again, is so amazing. I've got him in my team. I really like him. I play him uh, left centre mid with... Um, when I play me, yeah, I play him uh, um, left centre mid and I play Bakayoko at uh, CDM. I don't know why actually this Bakayoko isn't in my club actually. Let me just quickly check because I don't know what's happened. But yeah, I do play with Tweedy at uh, left centre mid and Bakayoko is sent at uh, CDM in my um, in my club. There you go, as you can see, Bakayoko again. These two are so amazing, complete beasts. And now we come along to see the final player that completes the center made the partnership we have Fakir and now Fakir guys you don't see him much in FIFA 18 ultimate team I must say he does have an inform but that's not the card we're using but I've played against him a few times in foot champs and this guy again is so amazing he's got a beast of a shot a beast of a left foot guys I'm telling you and look at those stats those stats are actually, actually amazing I'm telling you imagine if his defending was better be again quite like nine golden but 78 pace 79 shooting 77 pass and 86 dribbling again just a lot a brilliant beast of card in, of a card in this game he doesn't get seen around this uh around this game in the fifa community i think he is pretty much the hidden gem you could call him but yeah this is the flipping <laughs> amazing midfield i swear this midfield will destroy your opponents i'm telling you this move is absolutely amazing guys so i really do recommend this attack and this midfield it's a team that this is a team that you really don't see that much of foot champs so i feel like it's very undercover you know a lot of hidden gems in this team like the midfield but yeah i really do think this team is absolutely amazing the team will blow your mind so i suggest you guys go and play with it in the foot champions i'm telling you but here now we do have rafael Varane, Varane, the french man himself absolute beast he's so fast he's so strong he's so good at tackling he's so good at defending he is just such a beast of a man i'm telling you Raphael Varan, an absolute beast of a player. So far, 79 pace, guys. A 79 pace centre back in his in game sprint speed is 81. You have a centre back eh, whose pace is over 80. I'm thinking, you guys, that's what you want from your centre back. He is so amazing, so fast. Such a beast. One of the most overpowered players in this game. One of the most overpowered centre backs in this game, guys. I can't stress that enough to you guys i cannot stress that enough and then again to partner up with rafael Varane, we have his french partner his french center barque partner we have uh Kishoni. what's Kishoni's first name how can i forget laurent Kishoni? again i've used this guy before i promise you guys i've used a lot of these i've used everyone um i've used every single player in this team uh apart from uh fakir so far i'm telling you guys i'm not lying to you guys i promise you i wouldn't lie to you viewers or i, I wouldn't lie but yeah kishoni again absolute beast 75 pace 76 sprint speed 75 pace all together again so we do have fast center back and then again the defending stats of uh kishoni is absolutely amazing the defending stats is absolutely amazing he makes the most insane standing tackles i'm telling you i can't stress enough let's quickly have a look 87 standing tackles guys i'm telling you his tackles are absolutely amazing and now with the goalkeeper we have an absolute beast of a keeper in the name of hugo Lloris. two l's in his name he's just an absolute beast hugo Lloris kind of rhyming there he's absolute beast Hugo Lloris yeah Hugo Lloris is absolutely amazing I mean I can't say much about him just look at his stats I'll just give you like five seconds I'll be quiet for like five seconds so just adore just adore those stats 88 diving 86 handling 68 kicking is you know it's not the best but he just just forget about the kicking who really not many FIFA players do and if you if you um want to obviously 
have the ball kicked long you can just throw it because Lloris has a long throw so it's not that bad you don't really need that kicking stat it's one of the least important things you need from your goalkeeper then you've got the 90 reflexes the 65 speed his which is actually his pace and then his 80 um 82 positioning which is not so bad so Lloris is actually a beast of a keeper guys i'm telling you i can't stress enough Lloris is so good so amazing so overpowered and then with the left back there's not many uh good french left backs i'm not gonna lie to you so the best one who i've played with is actually Digne with 85 pace and 75 defending it's not bad i'm telling you guys it is not bad at all Dinier's defender is not bad but just to prove you there's not that many good french uh left backs so let me just quickly uh just show you guys just so you guys uh know that i'm not lying to you guys that's my club sorry uh concept players there's not that many apart from petit but obviously that wouldn't be a 400k uh squad builder so yeah in my opinion Digne is the best french left back you can get in this game right now apart from petit so yeah this oh, my friends is the best 400k team slash squad builder in fifa 18 i'm telling you this squad contains the most overpowered players in fifa 18 fifa um in fifa 18 ultimate team i'm telling you i can't stress enough how overpowered this team is and if you're wondering why this team has 92 chemistry that's only because of the fact that um alessandrini and martial aren't at the left forward position once they get moved up to the left forward position they will be on full chemistry guys so yeah i do hope you guys did enjoy this video i do hope you guys did enjoy this team this squad and uh, if you've played with it and you're coming back to this video leave a comment or whether you think this team is good also smash that like button remember can we hit 30 likes for that new series maybe we're going for but uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you did, don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. Turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I upload. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in a bit. It's been your boy RRB Plays. See ya!